Good morning, good morning, guys. It is day two on the Camino Frances 2.0. Today I'm leaving uh, Villa Franca and I'm heading towards Osebredo. As I mentioned, I wanted to stay up there, but I couldn't find a place on bookings.com. And I even tried the app for the public albergues. They were asking so much information that I just didn't have time to fill it out. But that's all about to change. I found a place in the town just before you get to cross into Galicia. So that's not bad either. The original plan was to camp, but at 2 p.m., from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m., it's just gonna rain nonstop. So I don't know. I just didn't wanna camp the first night under the rain. Also, because of the rain, I wanted to take the alternative route that goes through the mountains, but today is gonna be a racing game to get to Adia Berge for the first time. Everybody started waking up at 5, 5.30 in the morning. So, you know, I woke up at 6. Right now, it is 6.30. So, let's get the day started. So just like in uh, 2017, I have two options here, just outside the, right after you cross over the bridge. If I keep going straight, it's the official Camino, and as uh, we already know, you're zigzagging in between the major road. There's uh, plenty of uh, little towns. If I make a right turn, I go over to a small town up there called Pradela, and then you make your way down and rejoin the official uh, Camino. What I really wanted to do was make a left turn and take the really uh, path that takes you over the mountains. That one is the most uh, wild with uh, less support. It is uh, longer, but it's gonna rain tonight. It is gonna rain and uh, I don't know. I don't think I should be up there when the rain comes. So let's just go to, <laughs> let's just go to Pradela, which I didn't do before and then uh, join the Camino a little bit further down the line. It's about uh, three kilometers longer, I think. So those are the three kilometers that I took away from uh, getting to Osebredo today. So we're going up. By the way, yesterday for dinner, I had a massive uh, pincho, tortilla pincho. So I cut it in half and that's what I just have for breakfast right now. Everything is closed, it's way too early. So I think uh, it came in handy. Also yesterday, guys, I overdid it big time when it comes to filming. I mean, you guys know already by now. Could not post the video, could not even finish it. After spending two hours editing at the bar for lunch, and then when I got to the albergue, all I managed to do was trim all the shots, organize it, have it ready. And I have about 40, 40 minutes worth of footage. So that's another reason why I need to get to the albergue today around 2 so that I have the rest of the day to finish that video and to edit this one. That's what happens at the beginning. You're so exciting, everything is new, you're filming everything and you're talking for way too long like I do right now. <laughs> but then I have to find my routine if I want to be able to edit a video a day. When I did the Camino in 2017 and uh, the ones that I did in 19. I just film, I didn't have to worry about the editing process and I would just do it when I would get uh, home. But then it takes me three days of editing for every day that I'm here. I don't wanna do that. I wanna get home and be ready to set off on another adventure. So by taking uh, this alternative route, I'm completely bypassing the road for the majority of the time, which is down there below. So many flies here. And just check out the view of Villafranca right behind me. Just gorgeous views up here and it looks like everybody decided to come this way. So that means that I made the right choice. Look at all these flies, man. <sighs> Let's do it.
made it to uh, the town already and I gotta say it was a beautiful walk going through the forest and mountains kind of felt like the AT all over again but easier steady climb you can see uh, the road down below beautiful views and look where I am right now I'm right by the bell tower on this small little chapel ermita I just saw that they had the stairs and I was like what the hell you know now let's go have some breakfast there's a bar here and I'm uh, thirsty as hell because you know I didn't bring water I was expecting to have breakfast in town and I had about less than half a liter and I drank the whole thing on the way up I usually only get the views of uh, the bell tower with the drone but to actually be up here and touch it well that's an added benefit now let me be careful going down the stairs we don't want a repeat of the Camino del Norte <laughs> I had to stop at the albergue that is up here in this town just to get uh, my café con leche I also uh, devour <laughs> an entire uh, half a liter bottle of uh, water because I was just very thirsty and I had my sumo, my orange juice did not have anything to eat because I already had uh, half a bocadillo with a Spanish tortilla so yeah highly recommend this little walk up here man last time around I just walked by the main road but this is uh, this is something else the first kilometer yes you do need to climb but then you're all the way up here now we're coming down for about three kilometers and joining uh, the Camino that walk goes by the road temperature wise it's cool it's like 15 degrees Celsius that's like 60 uh, Fahrenheit so let's get out of the town now can't get lost well I can't get lost I got a GPS with all my tracks anyways so check this out just as I was leaving the town I was getting ready to uh, fly the drone to get the establishing shot it started to drizzle already and since you guys know that I'm paranoid about my gear getting wet and dying only because it has happened before so I got the poncho on and I also have the umbrella at a benefit I can record while it's raining check, check it out poncho and umbrella and my hat It is noon already and I decided to uh, make a quick stop at the town of La Portela right at the entrance there's a bar there and uh, has something to eat uh, while watching all the pilgrims uh, pass by I went for some eggs bacon and fries and a caña did not want to have a pincho because that's what I have for breakfast so I kind of switched it I have breakfast uh, for lunch and lunch for breakfast while I was there I met a guy a pilgrim from Portugal Antonio he says that he has walked about 15,000 kilometers already over his lifetime and he's just doing it on uh, on people's uh, generosity so he's pretty much homeless so he was asking for some help and I gave him 50 euros well you guys gave him 50 euros because as I mentioned before I will try to pay it forward whatever you guys give me whatever's left over and I see somebody in need I'll help them out 
por los 50 euros. It's been raining <laughs> like crazy. I had to put the poncho on, take it off a few times. And on top of that, I'm using also the umbrella. I thought for a second there that I wasn't gonna be able to fly the drone to the castle on top of the mountain, uh, which I love so much. If you remember it from uh, last time around, uh, but at the end of the town, when I was here on the road, it stopped. And I'm like, I got a small window to get it. And I did. Funny story is, that my original plan was to camp up there. I was thinking when I was at home looking at it through Google Earth, I'm like, man, this place looks just like the place to do some stealth camping. And I flew the drone there right now, and it is. It's just that it's a mission to get up there. I think the easiest way would be if you take that route that I was gonna take originally that goes through the mountains, then you can follow the road that goes to uh, the castle. Plan A was camped there. Plan B was camp at Osebredo, but actually I'm going for Plan C, which is just staying at a private albergue in the town before. Albergue La Escuela. Three o'clock, the last push to uh, to the hostel today. Now it's when the climb start, just leaving Herreras. And it happened to me, it had to happen to me, mister, I never get any blisters. Well, I got two, one on each foot. And this stretch, there are no pharmacies here. So I saw this bar and he says that it was also a, a store. Went in and I got lucky. I got a blister prevention kit. I had to go to the bathroom and apply it. Feeling a little better now. I think if I would have gone up those mountains, I would have been in a world of pain. I must have gotten it coming down from, uh, from Pradela because it was a very steep uh, uh, decline that I had to do there. <laughs> but I'm telling you, man, the first week or so, it either makes you or breaks you. That's when your body needs to get used to this I don't know if it's a little combination of the way that I'm carrying or that the ground is so hot. I mean, this is the first time that I'm walking this in the summer, but uh, no more excuses and let's just forget about it. Now we're gonna start climbing and uh, I think I should be at the albergue before or around 4 p.m. I wanted to get there a little bit earlier just so that I can get it, but you know, also, it stopped raining, not gonna complain about that. Beautiful day, when it's not raining, it's only cloudy.
I have forgotten how steep that climb from the split was to La Fava and then now to La Laguna where I am. This is where I'm staying tonight. So close to Osebredo, but no cigar. Great day, man. Even though it's been drizzling on and off the entire day, I think early in the morning it was when it was really bad, but uh, lately I've just been using uh, the umbrella. So yeah. I'm liking these private uh, hostels, man. They got plenty of room. There's plenty of space between the beds, between each other. There's no two uh, floor bunk beds, so that's always uh, great. As far as the COVID uh, situation is, everybody's wearing a mask when they come in, but once they go into the albergue, masks come off. Now, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just letting you know. It's been drizzling all afternoon, so there's no chance in hell that I'm gonna uh, wash my clothes and have them uh, dry. I've seen some people doing it, but you know, I, I don't think it's gonna happen. So yeah, guys, still in Castilla y León. Tomorrow I get to cross into Galicia. I get to probably have breakfast at Osebredo, a town that I just dear to my heart. I wanna thank all the trail angels for all your support. Thank you so much. And uh, I guess I'll see you all tomorrow morning.